I'm at London Bridge today, bringing you the best of London's waterside, whining and dining and cultural hotspots. Much to see here. We'll start off with Sir Francis Drake's famous Golden Hind. So it's going to be a very cultural afternoon here in London Bridge. And we'll start off right here. So Sir Francis Drake um, used this vessel here, right here, and um, we're going to have a look around. Mind your head. I am now um, below decks on um, Sir Francis Drake's Golden Hind. The ceiling is super low because it's just made for um, uh, basically for defending the ship. It's, just, it's got nothing but cannons on that deck. You know, you literally have to kneel to uh, make your way across the deck. An authentic cannon. I don't know if you can see this, it's quite dark. It's lined on either flank with cannons for artillery fire against the enemy. Some barrels that seem to have gunpowder in them or something. Um, for the uh, cannon fire. There's a strong smell of timber below decks, as you'd expect. So today we're Thameside around the London Bridge area and this is Southwark Cathedral and it's literally five minutes away from the other cultural hotspots St Francis Drake's Golden Hind and the Clink Museum There are many amazing archaeological finds in the cathedral and one of them is this statue of a hunter god Some have suggested it's Diana, the goddess of hunting but it has a very male bearing and presence. See here the remains of an arch from the late 12th century and a Roman road from the first century AD. The remains of the east wall of the chapter house is dated late 12th century. Okay, as I venture into the main part of the cathedral, I'll keep to a vow of silence, even though I'm not a monk, as a sign of respect to this building, which is a place of worship at the end of the day. Now Suffolk Cathedral has been a place of Christian worship for 1,000 years. The building's amazing Gothic architecture was constructed between 1220 and 1420. In AD 606 it was a convent, in AD 1540 it was a parish church and in AD 1905 it was made into this cathedral. In 1666, around the time of the Great Fire of London and the Great Plague, it was the tallest structure in London at 164 feet tall. 1869, Charles Dickens attended the bell ringing practice. I'm in the Clink Museum in London Bridge and we're going to have a look at how prisoners were treated in medieval London. It's going to be grisly, so hold on to your hats. So if you were a prisoner, you had to pay for your own bed and board. Um, 
literally your pay for your room, your bed, your bedding, lighting, fuel, food, water, ale, well, at least you got ale. This here is uh, the real remains of the uh, the clink wall from 1680 to uh, 1780. A gruesome sight. And just behind me is Winchester Palace. Well, actually, it's just a wall. All that remains of this palace today is just a wall. But it's no ordinary wall, it's got lots of history. But it's another cultural landmark in London Bridge, along the Thames, when you're looking for your waterside whining and dining and cultural hotspots. This has to be on your list. We're going to be looking at all the um, Thames side options on London Bridge, along London Bridge. Um, we're looking forward to whining and dining and cultural hotspots. Right in this vicinity, right in this corner here, you know, within 10 minutes of um, the place. In fact, at this place I'm at now, the old Thames side inn, which is a historic inn, it's, everything is within five minutes of the place, which is a historic pub, right along the water. Um, and it's fantastically located because um, Sir Francis Drake's galleon, the, Golden Hind is directly outside the door and um, that's a tourist attraction. You get to have a look around um, this historic uh, ship for five pounds. Um, Suffolk Cathedral is about two minutes away um, and um, yeah so much going on here so uh, and yeah just to my left we've got the Thames, great views of the Thames um, you know um, Thames Clippers and other um, tourist riverside uh, vessels Park. We're better to have um, your, your lunch and uh, enjoy fantastic views of the capital, Riverside, than uh, right here in the old Thames side.